You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants on Black and White Live. That's right. We're bringing a sports video to Black and White Live, and you will be seeing quite a bit of them on this channel. Uh, we are looking to expand our coverage of sports and entertainment, to be honest with you. And we recognized we wanted another channel, but we was like, you know what? We have this one that gets limited amount of content. So uh, many of you we've been talking about on live streams, uh, maybe some focus on football, maybe some focus on pro wrestling. Well, that's going to be on this channel, okay? There will be live streams on this channel. So, and it only makes sense that something like the NBA ratings, and because it's become largely wrestling ratings as well, the ratings videos will move to this channel, most likely. Uh, so, uh, we've had a lot of people that have been like, look guys, I'd love to see you be a little bit more like OutKick, be able to call out the things that the mainstream media won't call out, but also talk about some sports, right? Uh, so, here we are. Here we are. Hit subscribe. Let's get to this dumpster fire known as the NBA ratings. Uh, what I've got is last Monday night, and my normal website for gathering all these ratings is down right now. Uh, so I'm having to use something different. I'm having to piece this together from various websites. And so if you're into pro wrestling, the NFL predominantly Cowboys, 49ers, Bucks. Patriots, but it'll be everything in the in pro re, in in the NFL, college football, and pro wrestling. Maybe even some XFL in there. Uh, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. We'll talk some. We'll talk some of the sports side of sports. NBA, you can count us out. We ain't watching it. Okay, we're not watching the MLB. So that's going to be a rough. Probably won't be much MLB on this channel either. Okay, so let's do it. All right, uh, NBA ratings. As we know, the NBA was uh, in a desperate attempt to try to boost their ratings. So Disney, having owned the Marvel brand, has decided they were going to try to stick Marvel characters, MCU characters, into a ESPN2 special edition uh, NBA game between the Warriors and the Pelicans. And I'm going to tell you right now, the Warriors ratings have actually been flirting with the Lakers. And as we found out recently, the Warriors are actually a larger brand than the Lakers now, which is unbelievable, but the Warriors have passed the Lakers. And that news just came out via Forbes. We did a video on black and white sports on that. ESPN2's Marvel Eyes showing of the Golden State Warriors and Pelicans game gathered a pathetic... And I can't stress this enough, pathetic 274,000 viewers. The traditional telecast on ESPN drew 1.12 million viewers for a total pathetic viewing of 1.39 million. ESPN2 had a little under 20% of that total tally. So that tells you right there, absolutely awful. A pathetic attempt from the NBA to try to gain ratings, and it didn't work. It absolutely was an utter and complete failure. So, and they deserve everything they get for all the social justice nonsense, LeBron James running his mouth, the entire league branding the BLM last year. Uh, so, that is that is how that worked out for him. A epic, beautiful, dumpster fire, trash fire failure. By the NBA pulling in, I don't, I didn't, I didn't see the telecast, so I don't know what the hell, who the hell, uh, if Thanos, I guess Thanos showed up and Thanos snapped the uh, NBA viewers right out of there. Uh, so congratulations, Disney, on that utter and complete epic dumpster fire failure that you had uh, in that uh, marketing ploy. Yeah, it absolutely did not work. Now. The ratings for this week's edition of Monday Night Raw was a go-home show for the WWE 
WrestleMania backlash on Sunday. This week's show drew an average of 1.817 million viewers on the USA broadcast, which is down slightly from 1.872 million for last week's episode. Okay, so, and here's the hourly breakdowns on this. The the first hour is always bigger, 1.1912 million. Hour true. Hour two, 1.828 million. And then hour three is always way down, which is weird. Uh, Back in the day, back in the Attitude days, they used to go over about five or six minutes. And man, that overrun did massive ratings. Uh, They don't have that, I don't guess, anymore. 1.71 million viewers on that. And uh, in total viewership, it ranked number seven in cable. However... I can tell you right now, going back to this other screen, WWE did win the night in the coveted 18-49 to 49 demographic graphic with 8.53. Okay, AEW was down. Really, really down. Uh, so, um, their total viewership wasn't bad, but considering what has happened with NXT having moved, their 18-49 to 49 demographic did not look good this week. Um, Dynamite netted 936,000 viewers and did a .31 rating on the 18-49 to demographic. That is a drop of 154,000 from the prior week and a sharp decline from last week's .42. And that's the thing. Remember, NXT is now gone. Uh, So, if you look down these historical uh, ratings they've had, they've had a bunch of .3-somethings on here. And these were all direct competition ratings with NXT. Well, here we are with a .31. NXT is not on that night anymore. So that doesn't look great. The overall viewership, good. 936,000 viewers is still good, okay? Uh, But in that key 18 to 49 demographic, not good. Not good. Now... Let's go to SmackDown because the overnight ratings came out for Monday, uh, for uh, SmackDown on Fox, and that's Fox antenna broadcast, open air. Uh, they were terrible. They were terrible, historically low since moving uh, over to Fox. Uh, Friday, Friday's WrestleMania Backlash Go Home episode of SmackDown drew 1.80 million viewers overnight. That is awful. That is awful. It drew a .40, which is still good in the 1849. It was number three on the night. Just to let you know, Blue Bloods was a .5, and they had 6.50 million viewers. Uh, Blue Bloods, I actually just started binging that. Um, I'm only two episodes in, but so far, so good. It's really good. And um, and it's down 21% from last week's episode which was 2.282 million with a .65, so way down in 18 to 49. But here's the thing. This was the lowest viewed episode on Fox since July 3rd of last year. 1.777 million, which aired on July 4th weekend last year. So, uh, man, SmackDown took a beating last night. SmackDown took an absolute uh, monstrous beating. So, and just so you didn't miss out, there is crying ass LeBron James in the bottom left-hand corner. So, if you're watching this, I'll probably link it over to Black and White Sports. Uh, Make sure you hit subscribe. Turn the bell on. More sports content coming to you. Future live streams coming to you from this channel. Just more stuff. We're hustling our ass right now. We are trying to get more things out for you guys. And you guys have been asking, hey, a little more like OutKick, okay? I want you to talk a little more NFL. I want you to talk a little more draft. I want you to talk a little more free agent. Talk a little more Tom Brady. And we recognize those kind of topics won't get as many views. But when that many people are still interested, okay, thousands of views, um, you know, we're going to listen to what you guys want. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're still going to call out the nonsense. And if you're looking for NBA coverage, if you're looking for MLB coverage, 
It's not going to happen. We're not watching those games, guys. We're not. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.